What's up guys, welcome back. Today's video is all about Halloween decor on a budget and in a neutral aesthetic. five days before Halloween so every single birthday I had growing up until I was like 12 was a dress up Halloween costume party and my mom would deck out the basement with black lights and cobwebs and just all the Halloween feels so I have a soft spot in my heart for Halloween I want to do that in our house this is my first time decorating for Halloween in our new house and if you follow me and you've seen some of my home tours you know my design is this like very neutral aesthetic creams tans blacks that's pretty much it. So I wanted my Halloween decor to follow suit. So you're not gonna see any oranges, purples, if that's your vibe, this video probably isn't for you. But like you can see in the title, all the Halloween decor I'm gonna show you was under $36. Dollar Tree for the win. I found such inspiration when I went in there. I went in there for something completely different and I came out with a lot of stuff. I'm going to show you how to build two different tabletop designs. You can put them on your coffee table, on a console table like this. I'm going to show you fireplace decor and a window display. So if you're interested in seeing how you can do all this for $36 or less, please keep watching. So this first tabletop design is really easy to put together. You can use something shallow, whether it's a bowl, a tray, um, something that these items will look good propped up in. So you're going to use this gauze as your base. Then you're just going to layer in those chains, kind of drape them on the sides, use them to prop up the skulls, which is what you're going to pop in next. After you've got the skulls and skeleton hands the way you want them, I just put some candles in that I had, lit them for some drama, and there you go. The next display we're gonna make is this bowl of skulls. You're gonna need a bowl, about eight to 10 skull heads, and that gauze. So just drape that all over your bowl, pull it apart to give it the creepy effect, and then fill it up with skulls. The spooky chandelier might be my favorite because it is so easy. All you need is that black gauze. You're gonna drape it over your chandelier and then pull it apart like you did before. Forewarning, make sure it's not a fire hazard. I'm winded from climbing up and down that table. Um, now on to the window display. I started with my webbing, which you guys, I'm not gonna lie, working with this is a lot harder than I anticipated. It's really sticky and it just takes a lot of trial and error. I got up and down that stool like 50 times, so just give yourself some time to work with it. Once I got the webbing to look the way I wanted to, I picked up my skeletons. To give them a little bit more of a haunted look, I decided to hang them at different lengths, so I just used some twine ahead around the house to achieve the lengths that look the best. To complete the look, I added the bowl of skulls we made earlier and a few other Halloween items I had. The next thing I'm gonna show you is my fireplace decor and that was inspired by these bats I saw on one of the bloggers I follow on Instagram. So I immediately copped these up. These were a whopping $9, most expensive thing in this whole lot. They come in a variety of sizes and they're just like these little bats um, made of paper. But you can bend them, shape them, and then you put these stickies that they come with right here. Um, you put the stickies on the back of the bats and 
just create whatever formation works for your space. And then the next thing I'm gonna use on the fireplace is again, back to this terry cloth gauze. Uh, I'm gonna drape this over the mirror, so let's do it. some of these ideas. Um, now that my house is all decorated for Halloween, I feel like I have to go convince Antonio that we need to have a little costume party. I love any excuse for a costume party. So I'll be working on that. Hopefully you guys will be working on decorating your house with this neutral Halloween creepy vibe that I tried to curate. But all of this stuff that I showed you is linked below that I could link. Everything else, like I said, is Dollar Tree. So run your local Dollar Tree. You might have to go to a couple to find these. I've been talking to my friends and they said that they had to go on the hunt for some of these items. But um, well worth it because they're all a dollar. All right, so that's it for me. Happy Halloween, guys.